Hey there, this is Scott Johnson, Technical Grounds for DeKalb and Ascro. It's the last week of May, uh, beautiful day. Uh, we've caught some rains here over a bunch of the area over the last couple days. Uh, that provides a great opportunity to get out, walk some fields, dig some plants, and see what's going out in our, in our, in our, our fields out here. So, uh, where are we at weather-wise for the season? If you take a look at the Iowa uh, Mesonet weather page, you'll see that as far as heat, we're running about 50 units or so behind in the northern part of the state. And we're actually a little further behind that uh, as you go south. The southern part of the state, we're seeing areas of uh, up to 100 uh, heat units behind normal. So uh, pretty cool for much of the season. When it comes to rainfall, the theme has also been behind or below average here uh, across much of eastern Iowa. That was up until this last week where we caught some significant rainfall in parts of eastern Iowa. Far. As I'm walking in fields, much of what I'm finding corn-wise, uh, we're running between uh, V2 and V3 for the majority of my area. Uh, what does that mean uh, uh, plant growth-wise? Well, if you dig that plant up, you'll see we have nodal roots that are, have developed, but they're not to the point yet where they're doing the heavy lifting as far as nutrient uptake. It's also important to look at that mesocotyl and make sure that it's healthy. Uh, the plant is still at this point pulling nutrients from that seed and that mesocotyl is, is the highway from that seed to, to the rest of the plant. So we're going to make sure that's healthy. Uh, the longer seed sits in the ground, the longer we wait for that, that plant to, to get out of the ground, the more apt it is for seedling diseases. As a reminder, all year one and year two DeKalb products come standard with EDC or enhanced disease control. That gives you a higher rate of prothyconazole and a higher rate of fluoxystrobin, two very good fungicides. Our research has shown that, that EDC will, will give growers, on average, about a little over a three and a half bushel advantage over our standard seed treatment. Since we're talking about plant health, it's also time to start thinking about that early application of Delaro brand fungicide. Uh, why is that early application important? Why, why should you be interested in that? Well, if you think about the grain that goes into the, into the grain cart in the fall, that ends up the bin, that ends up paying the bills, where does that start? Uh, it starts right here. Uh, early season ear development is crucial. That's the basis for whatever happens uh, yield-wise the rest of the year. So we want to minimize stress on that plant early in the season. Uh, if we can maintain those plant health in those lower leaves, that can help us slow down the, that disease progression in the mid canopy as we get further into the growing season. If you think about uh, stock health, uh, a lot of the pathogens that, that uh, makes, or give, us, give us stock rots later in the season progress through the plant through the roots early on in the season. So if we have an, a, a fungicide that's effective against those pathogens, we can maintain or better maintain stock health. That means imp improved standability. That also means healthy vascular tissue. We want to make sure that vascular tissue is healthy as, as we're trying to get uh, nutrients from the soil and the rest of the plant uh, all the way through ear development and, and grain fill. So uh, it's important to, to, uh, to uh, keep that plant as health, 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 healthy as we can as long as we can through the season. It's also economical. Since we're dealing with, with a much smaller plant, we can pull a rate back. Uh, we recommend uh, four ounces uh, applied anywhere from V4 to V8. One last call in regards to our drier than normal weather pattern that we've had here across much of the area this season. Uh, it takes at least a half inch to an inch of rain to activate most soil applied residual herbicides. We may have come up short on that in a few areas this year. If we start seeing weeds that are an inch or two tall, it's time to start thinking about making a, a, a post herbicide pass. Uh, we also have ways to go before canopy closure, so it'd be a good idea to include a good residual herbicide such as one of our harness brands, Dury Extra, or Warren Herbicide. Also, as a note, worn herbicide can be applied to corn up to 30 inches tall in height. That's your agronomy update for this last week of May. We'll catch you down the road.